following breaking news at this hour. Capitol Hill right now at Tinderbox. And we fight. We fight like hell. And if you don't fight like hell, you're not going to have a country anymore. We're breaking the gates there. So let's walk down. A mob stormed the Capitol building in Washington, D.C., scaling the walls, smashing the barricades, beating police officers. They were bent on overturning the result of a democratic election, baying for the blood of those they called traitors. I sat glued to my TV, overwhelmed by a feeling of impotent vindication. And then I saw him. The same furs, the same horns, the same spear, inside the Senate chamber, behind the desk hastily vacated by the vice president who'd fled minutes earlier in fear of his life, stood the Q shaman. This character, who only a few weeks ago seemed too mad to interview, had forced his way into the very heart of American democracy, threatening to bring it down from within. The story that had propelled him there was a tale so preposterous, so crazy, it couldn't possibly be true. But he wasn't the only one. Hundreds were there with him, thousands more were outside, and millions of Americans now believe this narrative. Was history repeating itself? It looked like a new dark fantasy had infected the bloodstream. How did that happen? I had to find out. 